If you follow us on Instagram, you'll know that I love Demo Day from Axe and Sledge. But if you're watching us on YouTube, you probably don't know that. So today, let's talk about Demo Day, what it is, why I love it, and why you should consider it for your carbohydrates. Peri-workout carbohydrates are probably one of my favorite things in terms of actual bang for buck, progression, what you get out of your supplements, effectiveness, whatever you're talking about, efficacy, all those fancy words. I love carbs around my workout. Now, some people are scared of carbs. Some people don't know how to utilize carbs. Some people are, for whatever reason, just not choosing to put them into their program. And today, we're gonna to talk about a carbohydrate that is a blend of different carbohydrates to make it probably a little bit more palatable for some people who are afraid. There's some auxiliary ingredients in there to make it a little bit more useful or better utilize carbohydrates. And we're gonna talk about what performance benefits you can get out of all the extra stuff that comes alongside. Now, Axis Ledge has been doing this card game for a while. They've got this demo day and it is, I've been told, one of Seth's favorite products. When we first linked up with them, Patrick said, I'm gonna send you some hydraulic and I'm gonna send you some demo day. Don't take more than two scoops of both or your legs will literally blow up on leg day. So you know what I did? I took more than two scoops. Seriously, if you guys know, I love hydraulic. It's one of my favorite pump products, but this product alongside it, just takes it to the next level. There's a couple of ingredients here that really help synergy wise with pump. And as someone who came up from being small, I can never seem to get enough carbohydrates in my diet. Anyway, let's quit talking about why I love carbs and start talking about why I love this carb. So Axis Sledge has a blend of carbohydrates. And so it's gonna be consisting of carb 10, cluster dextrin, and palatinose. Now they're at different dosages around the profile, but I'm gonna start off with the top two. Carb 10 from Compound Solutions at 15 grams. Carb 10 is an interesting carbohydrate coming out of Compound Solutions made from peas. Now, it is an interesting source because it has two different benefits that are not always seen together. It is low glycemic, but it's also fast absorbing. Usually low glycemic, we're looking at a bit of a slower carbohydrate and fast absorbing, we're looking at a higher glycemic index. So it's interesting to see these two together. Now the glycemic index is a measure of how much insulin is secreted per gram of carbohydrate that's ingested. And it's a little bit kind of controversial on whether you want high or low glycemic carbs around your workout. I personally don't worry too much about insulin action around your workout because it will help with growth. But it's also fair to say that you don't want a roller coaster of blood sugar during your workout. And that's one reason that lower glycemic carbs have a place in your pre-workout and intra-workout nutrition. Now, Compound Solutions has provided us with some nice little graphics I'll put up on the screen, basically showing that carb 10 provides 82% in lower insulin response and 27% lower blood sugar response. And that's of course, as compared to the evil maltodextrin, which I think kind of gets a bad rap, but that's another conversation for another time when we talk about maltodextrin. And that's the biggest portion of this carbohydrate supplement here. You got 15 grams of it out of 25 grams total. So after that, we got 11 grams of cluster dextrin. Cluster dextrin is my love when it comes to carbohydrates. It is amazing. It does incredible things. The studies on it show just leaps and bounds above what people imagine carbohydrates to do for them, or at least the majority of people I feel like. Now, cluster dextrin is coming out of Mitsubishi. It's a highly branched cyclic dextrin, which uh, I think we have to all thank John Meadows for his love of it with, with, a, with a previous product that he was with. Uh, I, he, he really brought it to me at least. He, he made, brought the love of cluster dextrin to me, and I think a lot of people saw that as well. I know it's been, it's been around, and other people talked about it and stuff, but John Meadows was really who turned me on to it. Now again, I have some more graphs to show you about cluster dextrin has a high molecular weight, but a low osmolarity. Put quickly, it gets through your digestive system quickly. That gastric emptying rate is turned up and then it gets into your muscular glycogen stores very quickly. Now this gastric emptying rate has an effect on other ingredients that are consumed as well. We've heard some people talk about if you're taking in like say a slow releasing capsule or something like that, if you take it with some cluster addiction, it will help shuttle it in quickly. So we can only imagine that it will help with the uh, gastric emptying time for other ingredients here like carb 10, or some of the other ones we're gonna talk about soon. Now, if memory serves me correctly, I remember some Japanese studies about sprint, uh, like swimming sprinters and the time to exhaustion being incredibly increased with cluster reduction. Now, the most of you that are watching this video are not gonna be any sort of endurance uh, marathon here. Most, most of our followers are weight trainers and you'll absolutely notice the increased strength, nasty pumps, 
and improved endurance during your sets, even if they aren't a full out endurance sprint. Now we're gonna take a break from my love of carbohydrates to talk of my love for another ingredient, which happens to just be an amino acid, but it's not a conditionally essential amino acid or anything like that, it's taurine, which if you followed any of my pre-workout videos, you probably know I love taurine. We got two full grams of it here, which is twice the normal amount that we normally get. Now, when Mike first wrote about Demo Day, he was talking about how a fun, innovative look it was at intra-workout nutrition or pre-workout if you're mean, you like to use a pre-workout. But I think a lot of companies actually have come in and copied this pretty well. Not only the carbohydrates, but the taurine as well. I mean, I'm not complaining. Axis Legends might not be too happy about it, but I am happy to see this kind of formula making its way into the market more frequently. The taurine is a very popular osmolite, which basically means it helps with the movement of water between cells. And as most of you probably know, our bodies are 70% water. Our muscles without enough water become kind of like dried jerky. A recent meta analysis that I love to cite in these videos, which you can find on our blog, shows that there's a ton of acute benefits from a gram of taurine. We've got twice that here. Endurance benefits, performance benefits, all sorts of benefits for the people that are specifically the demographic that are buying this product, just get your taurine in. Like just stop listening to me, get some taurine, get it into your body. Now, taurine does have some other help like brain and heart health. It's pretty important for a lot of different vital processes as well. That might not be the sexy thing to talk about during a sports video. But you're gonna notice a lot of nice things like that water pump from the Osmolite, some nootropic benefits from taurine that aren't really often talked about and that long-term health benefit. Taurine's super underrated. It even has a benefit for eye health, which I'm not gonna talk about because it doesn't have much to do with what we're doing today, but stands to say, taurine is an awesome ingredient. If you are any sort of athlete, most people could be benefiting from some more of it in their diets. Now, following that, we have a perfect pair for taurine, and I don't say that very often, but Hydromax Glycerol Powder follows taurine, which is another helpful hydration ingredient. Glycerol is known for hydrating athletes, driving a hyperhydrated type state for athletes, helping with hydration, performance, pumps. You get that water pump effect like I was talking about with taurine. It's 65% glycerol, but stabilized with silica so that it doesn't clump up terribly in powder or even water. Now with Hydromax, we've seen repeatedly increased endurance effects as well as that hyperhydrated state. We've also seen <laughs> less frequent urination, which if you are, like I was saying before, an endurance athlete, trying to get after it in a marathon, triathlon, and stuff like that, that could be helpful for you. Now, it is important to note that a lot of the studies are showing higher dosages of glycerol, but if you're using hydraulic alongside with this, you get actually a pretty monster dose of it. So I do believe there's some more data coming out on these stabilized glycerols, which should show that less, like, which should show that smaller doses of this ingredient are more effective. Most of the studies are on actual glycerol that isn't stabilized by silica. I'm told though, by the original creators of uh, the, the stabilized glycerol powders, there's more data coming on it. Anecdotally, we love using this stuff. It offers an awesome option for hydration and that water pump benefit. Now, getting back into our carb sources, because we love talking about these, we've got our last trademarked ingredient for the list, Palatinos. Now, Palatinos is another low glycemic carbohydrate coming from beet sucrose. It's about half as much sweet as normal sucrose. And it's gonna be a lot faster acting than these other ones, a lot closer to actual sugar. Like I was saying, they use a small dose of this because of what I was talking about before, that roller coaster of blood sugar. This is gonna act quickly and it's gonna help prevent you from going hypoglycemic, but it's not gonna have that long lasting energy like your clustered extra or your carb 10 would. These carb blends are nice because they give you short and long acting carbohydrates. They could have easily, you know, opted for a cheap dextrose here, but they didn't thankfully. They went with this trademarked version. Big fan of Platinos. It will help with that safety of keeping your carbs up, but not releasing too much insulin where you start to have an issue. And that's where we run into some other ingredients that help with the actual carbohydrate utilization. Cinnamon bark. Now, if you've ever taken a GDA, you've probably seen cinnamon bark on the label. What's funny about this though, is it's a powder, not a pill, so you'll actually taste it in the product. Cinnamon bark has positive impacts on blood sugar as well as actual mass gain. In some studies, it did help with body fat loss, but I do wanna make sure that you guys know, unless you're in a deficit, that's probably not gonna be happening. Although anytime you do help out with insulin and carbohydrate sensitivity, you can have that effect because you're making things a little bit more efficient. Now, the last ingredient, alpha lipoic acid is along the same vein of thinking. These both have 50 milligrams, so not huge dosages, although you will get that sweet, not well, not sweet, that cinnamon uh, taste from the cinnamon. These are pretty small amounts. Alpha lipoic acid is another helpful GDA ingredient to help with the 25 grams of carbohydrates. 
Now, alpha lipoic acid is a fatty acid created by the body's mitochondria. It acts as a powerful antioxidant, but it also has a role in energy production for the body. It can increase energy expenditure, but it also we notice it lowers blood sugar levels in fasting, but also in relation to after consuming carbohydrates. It doesn't seem to acutely drop blood sugar like maybe a berberine would, so that's probably helpful since we do have that palatinose in there. We don't want to play with our blood sugar levels too much. However, we do like the fact that cinnamon and ALA are included in here to help with the control of insulin around your workout while you're consuming all these carbohydrates. Now, because of those extra ingredients in there, I think that's kind of why they don't recommend using over a full serving. Uh, I'm a big fan of using two scoops of it here, but I do think if you get over two scoops, you're kind of not you getting the full benefit out of the ALA and cinnamon. You're kind of just throwing those ingredients out because you're taking so much of it. The taurine, the glycerol, the carbs, I can always get up to two scoops of that and love the effects that I get from all of that. It is an expensive product though, and that's kind of also why I recommend keep it to one to two scoops. If you want to get a ton of carbohydrates, you could always add a little bit of Gatorade powder or some raw cluster dextrin as well. It's been a few years since Demo Day came out, and I have to say I'm super happy to see it's still rocking in the marketplace. Demo Day was one of the first carbohydrate supplements that went beyond just carbs, and it didn't just add in EAAs like a lot of people have done. They've pretty, created a pretty creative product here, and my understanding is that Seth kind of gave them a bit of a roadmap of what he enjoys to take for his training. And I love the fact that they're kind of keeping him as that spokesperson and keeping all the products around what he uses, supposedly. I'm sure there's parts that maybe they just think would be helpful for the people that they serve with their products. But Demo Day has stayed as a mainstay in my uh, regiment ever since I came across it. Um, and I can't recommend enough that you try it out. I'm personally a fan of using most of it to the beginning of my pre-workout so that I can load up my carbs before I go into the training and maybe keeping one scoop in there during my training to just keep the carbs up as I go along. And in case I do have to say that we got this product for free, we do have a business affiliate relationship. You can use coupon code PRICELOT for a rather large discount on the product if you want to try it out for yourself. I would definitely recommend that you try adding in carbs around your workout. Obviously, there's a lot of great carb supplements out there, but I can't speak highly enough of what this one can do for you. So maybe give it a try. Use our coupon code and see what it does for you. In any case, I really appreciate you making this part of the video. This was a bit of a simpler video. It didn't take too long to get through, but I wanted to be exhaustive in all of the different areas these ingredients can help you out and what it can do for you as a, someone who uses it pretty often. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a great day. Welcome to Price File.